Hi everyone. How are you doing on this? Uh, I was going to say awful Monday, but it might not be awful for you, but it's going to be for me with this heat. But I wanted to share some more um, just funny, funny. I was going to uh, continue on about whatever subject I talked about yesterday, but I was, like I say, you watch it, uh, and I just looking up how to survive the heat. And then came up about uh, dating sites for older older people, you know, over 40, 50, whatever. And so again, more comes up, right? You watch one and it comes up. <laughs> Gosh, it gets more and more, I don't know if the word's demented or is it a joke? Or are they for real? So <clears throat> I watched um, some of them where they have just uh, like a woman who has a woman's group, uh, uh, psychologists and the, um, I think they're both psychologists. Yeah, something like that. They were, you know, something with a college degree. What they were saying, I don't know, if you disagree with me and agree with them, I'd be interested to know that. But they're talking about how, you know, say older people, um, they said 50s, 60s. I think the one I was watching, the few I was watching was 50, 60. I don't think they had 70 in there. But um, they were saying, I just, good Lord, I, I could get a stomachache from laughing from this. So they're saying when people, you know, for whatever reason, you know, they have been together, married for 25 years, and, you know, your husband just walks out on you, abandons you, and you're left alone, and... He's out there, obviously found someone on a dating site before he left. Who knows? <laughs> okay, I had to do that one. But anyhow, <clears throat> what they are saying that these older men, 50 and 60 is the group they were talking about. Um, well, they're talking about intimacy and intimacy. Intimacy. <laughs> and, um,. And the a S, S as in Sandy, the S word. So they were saying, the first thing you should get that on the table. <clears throat> they said, B advice to both men and female. If someone is not um, interested in intimacy, then done, goodbye. That's not your match. I really have no opinion about that there because I haven't thought about it enough. But um, I don't know. To me, that would be like asking someone, do you like to breathe? I don't know. Okay, so you know my answer if you kind of think about what I just said. But anyhow, anyhow, um, I don't know, is that a deal breaker? Is it really? But anyhow, then they go a step further. They said, they should talk. No, 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 they didn't say about the talk thing. They were saying, well, older men, 50, 60, maybe they said even older, are you ready? Sit down for this. You might you might pass out when you hear it. I don't know. I was shocked. And all three agreed. Men. Now they're talking about men. In that age group, men would rather have um, a young, you know, vibrant girl. I, maybe they use the word woman. Because, um, you know... Their bodies haven't changed. Like, you know, older women, uh, things get loose. They didn't say this, but, you know, things get loose and hang and wear. They, they were alluding to that fact. Like, things are different. Like, you know, our estrogen goes and you might not have a drive or whatever. Ah, that's not with everybody, but anyhow. So, um, I know the one woman's got to be in her 70s. The other lady didn't look like she was in her 60s, but I don't know, she might be. But she definitely was in her 50s. The guy was definitely in his 60s. But anyhow, so they're saying men would rather have these young girls, okay? You, you got to sit down. I'm telling you, you got to sit down for this one. Don't be standing if you are. Don't blame me if you pass out. So they all agreed. So the one said and the other two agreed. They said they prefer the younger girls. Okay, you're sitting, right? I warned you. Because... It's like a joke. I don't want to miss the punchline. Because I got to think. I got to get it right. I want to verbatim. Because 
Okay, you ready? Okay, here it comes. Because the younger girls will appreciate the older, mature gentlemen. <laughs> oh my gosh. And these are two women and one man on the panel. No man ever has said that a 20 year old would appreciate them. Who has said that? A man to a 20 year old over a 50, so you got two 50 year olds, a man and a woman, and then there's a 20 year old woman. He's going to choose a 50 year old because why? Let's just get to the nitty gritty. Because they're young and pretty and everything's tight and blah, 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 blah. Well, let me tell you. I ain't going to say I look like no 20-year-old. But if I had the stuff to dress up and make up and all, if I had the stilettos that were not here anymore, I think I could, I, I could think I could hold my own. Not bragging, just saying, you know. A little work, you can all do it. And it's not only what you look like, it's how you present yourself, okay. And I'm sure... Any woman in their 50s, 60s can hold more than a candle next to a 20 year old. And I don't even care about that part. Part that really pissed me off was the 20 year olds who would absolutely respect 50 or 60 year old guy. I call BS. All they appreciate is their money. The hot car. Because what's the joke? If there's a hot car, you know, my red Corvette there, or a Lambo, or, a, you know, whatever those other rich cars are, I only know the the vet because that's my dream car. And the Lambo um, story told about my cousin's friend who took me in his Lambo. And I'll tell that story again for the new people. I highly doubt there's any 20-year-old well, let's say 21 because they're probably going to go out and drink, right? Because, uh, you know, if they get intimate, uh, if the guy is, you know, typical 60-year-old man who has a stomach that goes, uh, I don't know, enters the room three feet before he does, I'm not trying to be cruel. Please, nobody take this cruel. I'm just trying to give you a visual of what they're saying. It really, really upset me when they said that. So, you know, just imagine, okay, and let's just say he's bald, but bald is hot, you know, someone find it hot. So, you got a 50-year-old woman and 20-year, 20 21-year-old woman. And let's just say the guy is, you know, overweight, bald, um, has a ton of money, beautiful sports car, uh, I don't know, land over next to George Clooney over there in, what is it, Clooney Island or... Lake Clooney or Lake Cuomo, Lake Cuomo, I don't know. He got married, so, I, you know, he's not that much on my radar, but I still love my George Clooney. But anyhow, get out of here. Really? They are gold diggers. I don't know where these people come up with these things. And they're people that went to college. Oh, they hear it? They hear it from their people? Yes, they said they hear it from their people. Of course a guy's going to say that. What guy's going to say, Oh yeah, this 50-year-old woman would appreciate me for, for, for my, um, my mind, my, my experience, my, my, uh, what, your little blue pill? <laughs> no offense to anybody. I don't know how else to say that. I'm sorry. I do not mean to offend anyone, but I just could not stop laughing. There's no 21-year-old. Well, there might be. I don't know. Like I said, I've always had a place in my heart for a little old man. I don't think that way. I don't. Well, I was married when I was 21, but say I wasn't married, I don't think my eye would be looking at an older gentleman as someone to uh, jump his bones. That's the phrase I used to hear. I don't know. I was married, so I, my friends would say that. But just you know, I don't know. If I wasn't married, if I was 21, would I be a, com a companion? And right away, you must have thought when I said companion, like a paid companion. No, not a, not a, um, what's the other word where they do? They pay money and you're their, uh, I don't want to say escort. It's another word. Anyhow, um, I, I don't know. Anyhow, I was married and I was having a family, so I don't know. But anyhow, 
I highly doubt there is any 21 year old who would take a 50, 60 year old guy over a hot, buff, six pack, 12 pack, whatever, hot, I don't know, even a guy 30, I don't know, sometimes guys are immature. Um, there's no way. But it also shows in their research, get out of here. Where's the research come from? The guys that are saying they'd much rather have a 20 year old because they appreciate them more. What what do they even know? They barely out of high school and maybe college or flipping burgers or whatever. Nothing against people flipping burgers or going to college. But that is so much BS. I don't know. So let me know what you think. I just couldn't believe it because I'm thinking. I'm thinking me. Sure. I'd like a 21 year old guy to go out with dancing because you know what? Well, I don't know how much I could dance anymore, but let's just pretend I can. <laughs> a 21-year-old's going to be more, more, uh, movable. That's not the word. More, uh, I don't know. Well, a lot of 21-year-olds don't dance. But as I talk, if I'm saying you know, they're more movable, they're more into the, 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 you know, the dance, what's going on now and this and that, you're probably thinking, ah, oh, no, she wants to jump his bones. No, no, no. That would be sick. That would be like, you know, I can't even say it, it's so gross, but anyhow, no. So, by me saying that, because I love to dance, a 56-year-old guy might not be able to have the moves that I like. You know, I just don't want to just stand there and just like, you know, uh, snap my fingers dancing. I want to dance. When I dance, it's my passion. That's my, that's my essence. So, obviously... A 50, 60, let's just put the 70 year old guys in there. They want a young girl because they're more, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What's the word? Flexible notes, in other words. They're more, uh, I think it begins with a C. Contortionist. Yes. But you never know. A lot of women, 50, 60, 70, are in great shape, too. But from what I told you, number one, what do you get out of it? Do you agree with them, disagree? What do you think of what their study told them? The study that they asked people, the, the ones that are, you know, the psychologists in their practice. And I'm sure, I'm sure, okay, now I calmed down, came to earth. I'm sure a lot of guys said they would, you know, want women their own age, you know, maybe even older. And some people like older. I mean, I married an older guy. But, oh yeah, what I want to add in is... These older dudes, they also want to show off their, you know, the eye candy. You know, kind of like my George Clooney there, even though I think he's a little older than me. That's not here or there. But anyhow, it's eye candy. Like, my first husband that I married, he was a lot older than me. And I was, I met him in uh, my senior year in high school. And so, um, you know, there'll be another time I'll tell you a story, but it goes into this. Why he was dating me that I didn't know and when I found out uh, it just really upset me but he was a great husband a wonderful everything father provider wonderful he's passed away now which is too bad but anyhow it will um, we'll, I will do this another vlogger it's going to get too long but anyhow what do you think why do you think a 50, 60, or 70 year old would choose a 21 year old over a 50, 60 year old a woman his own age or you know Ten years younger, something. Why? Because the twenty-one-year-old is going to respect and appreciate them. Ha! Huh, BS. BS. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, your turn. What do you think? Yes, this gets me hot, hot and mad because they're full of BS. That is not true in any universe. No man, no man would say that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they'd appreciate your money, your car, the stuff you buy. Oh, my gosh almighty. And that's not being sexist. That's just, I'm thinking, if I was 21, yes, I married a much older man, but I was into a relationship. I, they're not talking about getting married. They're just talking about having a good time. If I was, well, I wasn't a good time girl. Well, I don't know. I, when I talk good time girl, I mean, if I was just out, you know, have fun with a guy, but not fun like, you know, go Chuck E. Cheese fun. You know, that kind of fun. Uh, sexy time fun. <gasps> oh, cover your ears. What is Sandy Mom talking about? I don't know. I'm trying to get a thousand subs, so I'm just trying every topic I got here. No, it just, they were talking about it. I thought, what the heck? I'll put it out here. 
But, you know, at 21, the first thought in my head is not going to be an overweight, bald guy sitting in a Lambo who can barely get out of his car because he's 100 pounds overweight. Not saying anything bad about anyone who's overweight. I am thin. I hate being thin. I cannot stand it. Everyone thinks, oh my God, you're such a good vibe. You're thin. No, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. So I'm not trying to make fun of people who are overweight or old men or not because I'm placing my heart for an old man. But anyhow, no way on any planet would I ever have in my brain to find myself at age 21, to find myself a 60-year-old to date. Nope, nope. Nope. I wouldn't think it then, and now I know I wouldn't think it then. And now I know I'm saying right now I wouldn't think it. Nope. Wouldn't come out of my mouth. So anyhow, what do you think? I thought it was so funny. I just had to share it with you guys. Okay, so come on. Let me know. I really want to know what you think on this because I am calling BS on this thing. So anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, like, please write a comment. I really want to know what you think, because this, this, I, I was laughing, I almost fell off the chair, this is like, what planet are these people on? What are they saying? It's, it's, I, I don't know, is it, is it two women who are, um, they don't have no self-esteem or self-confidence, so there's just, they're saying that, or is it the guy, obviously he's older, he's going to say, I don't know, I, I have no idea, I wish I would have. Because I always delete stuff right away so I don't, you know, have too much stuff in the memory or storage. Or I don't know the difference. But anyhow, I would have uh, linked the video for you to watch. But it's it just had me laughing like, no, no. <laughs> All right, anyhow, enough of this. It was very entertaining, I must say. So for now, be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. <laughs> I could add something about the video to here, but I won't. Uh, pay for it if you can. Be the reason someone smiles today. I think this video would make a lot of people laugh, so please share this video. I think it is really funny. If you don't, uh, there's nothing I said. I did not mean to insult anyone in the world at all. It's just I'm saying what, you know, how they were talking about, too. They were talking about how, like, a man looks and, uh, you know, and then how women, the things, they were really talking bad about women. I'm not even going to put that out there. I think that's cool. Um... Yeah, me saying a guy with his stomach with stomach entering three feet before him, that wasn't nicey, but I said I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. So don't throw tomatoes at me, please. But anyhow, please share our channel, share a GoFundMe, and share this video. I would like to know, I think this would be an interesting topic for people to talk about. Do you think a 21-year-old would, would appreciate... And we're not talking about, you know, guys age gracefully. We're not talking about a very good looking, let's say a 65 year old. As opposed to one that's like hanging out loose, you know. He sits and watches TV with his belt open because, you know, he eats a lot and, he, you know, gains some weight and doesn't have hair. I don't know, the hair thing doesn't really bother me because, you know, they, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong. I'm not into bald guys, but, you know, bald isn't bad. But, um, you know when I was not sick with this problem a guy who's overweight is you know couldn't keep up with me and I'm not talking you know in bed I'm talking about you know taking a while I like to walk I like to hike I like to dance you know what I mean so what's this 21 year old how is she, how how is she gonna appreciate the guy she's gonna appreciate his money what do y'all think okay enough of that and then I gotta remember to tell you a story about my first husband and about me being the uh, the eye candy the the trophy wife. If I forget, please remind me. So for now, thanks for walk walking. <laughs> I got walking in my brain. Thanks for watching. Hugs to all of you. There's your first hug of the day. And let's say, oh, thanks for watching. I say, we're going to say the word toodles and see if it's a magic word that will shut this thing off so I can upload it for you guys. No, no, no insults. I meant nothing to hurt anyone. I'm sorry if I did. I did not mean to. But, you know, it's just I was saying how they were describing they didn't say all that much about women, but they, what they said was, I mean, I, could, I wouldn't repeat it. It's very, um, I'm just not repeating it. Okay, so, toodles again. Nope, didn't work. What the heck? Try it again.